Alright, TH000 versus Hawk on Lestrefuge. It's not a human mirror. It's human versus Night Elf. As TH000 is playing once again the Elf Race. And the hero of choice for Hawk is going to be the Archmage. And of course, Keeper of the Grow here for TH doing the Ancient War Creeping here at the Ogre Warrior camp. So, what you want to do is you want to get very close to level 2 with this camp, with the Treens, and then either going for this camp here to get the level 2 or going for instant aggression if the human tries to maybe creep this uh, merc camp or even expanding what you can also do is you can creep this camp and then straight go for the mercenary camp creep in other words there are there is a variety of different approaches that you can do on this map so you can creep in a lot of different ways and let's see what is going to be the creep route of choice for TH000 and of course for Hawk TH getting the ring of protection plus 2 here okay. let's see if Hawk is going to be more lucky he's going for the golem pull trick which is going to allow allow him to creep this creep camp a lot easier by avoiding the damage and the stun effect of the boulder because if you drag the golem with the footman then he's not going to throw the boulder if you do it correctly and very good item for hawk gets the scourge born chimes and you can see the effect on the footman already regenerating a lot of hp just by attacking And that is why the Dreadlord must Ghouls build. They are so strong against humans, especially if they are combined with the Vampiric Aura, because of this regeneration effect. That's so good in the early game. Look at this footman, they take barely any damage. Normally, these footies will easily get low HP if you don't micro them back instantly and tank with the water elementals with this item you can even tank a little bit with the foodies as they are just regenerating hp look everything is basically green for hawk as he gets a smooth 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 extremely smooth level 3 now goes for the aggression th000 is exposed as his creeping is lower even with the ancient aware Gets his level 3 now, but the sh Shadow Priest is a little bit exposed. However, no close on the Archmage, but with the, wa with the Water Elemental level 2. That's enough damage to kill the Shadow Priest. That's a nice move by Hawk, but of course TH was very fast with the Dispel as well, so he was able to get... I think he got the Water Elemental. Anyways, the experience bar is almost the same. Nice shadow melt by TH. We don't have dust. I mean, we don't have dust so far, so he needs to go to the laboratory if he wants to reveal those archers. Let's see if he's doing. He's not doing it yet, so TH got the shadow priest as well. So I would say even trade so far, but the problem is that the hawk is expanding here. While we don't have an expansion for TH, and now the militia finally going at the lab, revealing the archer, allowing Hawk to get some additional experience. This archmage is very well on its way towards level 4. And the keeper got the room racers, by the way. 
Mm, good item, not for the early game, but for the late game, it's it's a good item because these humans nowadays they are all going for MK second. In the beginning of the 1.30 patch, it was all about Alchemist second, but nowadays they are back at the Mountain King second. Actually, when the meta was Demon Hunter Panda. The second year of choice was most of the time the Naga. Sometimes the Mountain King, a lot of times the Naga countered the DH. And nowadays it's all about Mountain King and good job by TH triggering the TP here for Hawk. But the expansion is standing and still no counter expansion by TH as the Water Elemental is keeping good guard of that position, keeping track of the Night Elf moves. The H is trying to apply more pressure here, but not really achieving too much except for a few footman kills as this level 4 archmage is pretty strong one more footman is going to fall to the acid bomb and the entangle but hawk denies it and he also denies the water elemental so well done here and this tire 2 was so fast, it's already tire 2. He can start to produce the Mountain King right away. Gets the Shredder with the Zeppelin trick. So you buy the Shredder and then you instantly buy the Zeppelin <coughs> run away. Because of course you don't have the time to creep this camp if you're pressured. And what's the tech switch for TH here? Does he have the lowers? Yes, he does have two lowers. Nature blessings. Job done. 44 food for Hawk, 36 for TH000. He's going for the expansion right now. Oh, where's the keeper? Keeper is a little bit out of position. He has decent mana though, thanks to the clarity. And Archmage is going for the cancel, but with the entangle, with the acid bomb, that's an easy TP. And that's actually the second time that Hawk is forced to town portal. And this time he didn't achieve anything. So I feel like that was a very good trade for TH. 350 gold. 350 additional gold are gone for Hawk and even though this expansion is very late that's already 700 gold that Hawk had to invest for town portals and as you can see it's got like 400 gold only so despite having the expansion it's not like he can explode into 70 food army in no time Because he didn't really bank anything. Now he gets the upgrade for the rifles and basically all of his gold has been spent. I feel like he has to stay at 50 here. He has to bank. And of course, TH000 is at 50 himself. He's not in the position to break up keep anytime soon. The expansion is up though. Not running that, but soon he will be running and now he's going. For the contested Ogre Magi level 5 camp here, if he gets this one, it's massive. Uh, Hawk crept the laboratory, got a great item, the Healing Wars, which he's using immediately. But he's going to lose the, Mag the Ogre Magi here, that's very big. DH gets the Scroll of the Beast, which is not that great for him, almost useless since uh, it only affects the archers. As Dryads are magic immune, the mountain giants don't do any damage. 
anyways. Nice dispels here. By TH. Denying the riot. And look at this alchemist already level 3, almost level 4. The acid bomb is so strong now, and he went for chemical rage second, so he's got no heal spray. Which could be an issue later on for the mountain giants not having any healing. And Hawk broke up keep, but he doesn't have gold. Look at the gold. Only 100. He has the same gold as TH, actually less gold than TH does, despite expanding like 5 minutes earlier, or something like that. So this Despite the huge advantage he had with his expansion, he lost so many resources with those town portals. But now his economy is actually weaker than the Night Elf. And now, but now he's trading well here. Because the normal damage of the militia is very good against the archers and the dryads. But at the same time, TH is getting rid of all, almost all the rifles and the priests as well. Only two rifles are left on the field for Hawk. And finally, he's in no upkeep. And I really think he should stay at 50, but he can't. He thinks his army is too small if he doesn't break upkeep. So immediately reproducing units. But that's far from being optimal, of course. That's far from being optimal. Look at, at the resources for TH, which is the blue player here on the on this uh, thing here. Red is Hawk. Here on this spot where you can read the number of the gold, current gold, current lumber. The blue one is TH. Now I think uh, TH broke up keep as well. Yes, he did. But he has a lot more gold. Pot of Cunning, one of the worst items you can get at this... Uh, Creep camp basically only better than uh, the crystal ball. Solo creeping the blood mage. And he's tier 3 though. That's useful. In this matchup, you always want to go tier 3 unless you're facing Demon Hunter Naga or Demon Hunter Panda. In that case you need mass breakers and sorceresses in most cases because the night elf is going to go burst. And the counter to burst is sorceresses and breakers. So knights. Knights and rifles don't do anything against burst unless you're like outnumbered, heavily outnumbered the burst with the rifles. But if, if you have equal amount of rifles and burst, uh, you just get destroyed. Burst Destroyed. Bears are so good. Despite the nerf, this very small nerf that Blizzard applied, the bears are still uh, great units. Probably the strongest units that elves can do against humans. Of course, if you have only four bears or even five bears, they don't do too much. But as soon as you get six or eight bears, you are basically unstoppable. And the only way to, to stop that is the old meta of breakers, sorceresses, even mortars in the back, blizzard. Because bears with upgrades and damage, 
damage upgrades and defense upgrades are just too good. And of course the rejuvenation. What makes Burst so good is not only the damage, not only the tankiness, not only the fact that they do so well against buildings, but especially the fact that they have Reju allowing you to save your heroes repeatedly with that spell. And that's why you need breakers. With mass breakers, the Night Elf can't really use Rejuvenation too much if you have enough mana on the breaker. So you can steal it and try to drive the fight in your favor. But against this build, tier 3 is great. You have the 3 1 attack, the 3 attack, triple attack upgrade on the rifles and the mortars. So you're going to do extremely well against the dryads. Blood Mage is going to siphon a little bit of mana here. But I don't know about this Mountain King second. I think like um, I think that Paladin level three is definitely better in this matchup. He gets the Mountain King, so he can stop the tranquility because he can bolt. The keeper when he uses the ultimate so he has some kind of disable so it makes sense but at the same time the downside is you don't have any healing for your archmage and your blood mage and the blood mage is an extremely squishy hero he's very good with the siphon but he can die super easy to the entangle and the acid bomb focus fire so paladin is supposed to provide the support that is necessary to be able to micro the blood mage efficiently and the lack of the Paladin, I feel like it would be extremely heavy. You can feel it in this game. And TH is mixing bears, that's what I'm talking about. When I say bears are so good. You want to have more of them, but of course in this game he went Mountain Giants and Dryads first, so it's not like he needs 8 bears. He already has a frontline of Mountain Giants with 2-1 upgrades. So he only needs the bears for damage and rejuvenation. And roar, of course. Roar, I didn't mention that. So all of these abilities that the, that the bears have get countered by the breakers. Oh, and the alchemist is level 6! But there are no breakers in this game. And the priests don't do anything against mass bears. So now TH has got level 6. Double level 6 actually, because he traded so well. He's got amazing items on both of his heroes. And did I mention that this Mountain King is basically useless because the Keeper got the Room Bracers in the early game. So Mountain King already a bad choice compared to the Paladin 3rd. But with the Room Bracers, there really is no point getting a Mountain King 3rd. Because you just can't go for the hero, so the only advantages of this MK is that Clap is very good at slowing down the units, allows you to find a few kills. That's good, but... I don't know, I prefer the Paladin second style that Yumiko plays. The standard is like Paladin third. MK second, Paladin third. That can work very well. Or uh, even Paladin 2nd, like Yumiko plays. But this double orb of Venom is doing so much for TH000. And keep in mind, he doesn't care about losing units. He's 6 6, he can rebuild them. His expansion was late to compare to Hawk's expansion, so he's got a lot more gold. Look at that 1700 for Hawk. Oh, I can't click on... Okay, I have to switch... View. Still f almost 4000 gold for uh, TH. 
So now Hulk is trying to do a little bit of creeping here, going for the Gargantuan, but... The only good thing is that he was able to staff and save the MK. So he's gonna try to get this MK level 3 and maybe do something with that, but again he's up against double level 6 with Room Racers on the Keeper. And this Alchemist gets 7 now. And he has the health stone, so absolutely no potential for hero kills. And we have rejuvenation for the burst. And the thing with Nidalf is they can trade so well because all of their most valuable units share the common upgrades. So once you upgrade the mountain giants and you get them 2 2, your bears and your dryads and even your chimeras, they will all be level. Two, two. I mean they will all have the same upgrades as the mountain giants so you only need to click on the upgrades once which is extremely incredibly cost, ef cost efficient as I already said in the game I casted between Infi and Foggy and Amazonia where Foggy went for kind of a dream night elf army with chimeras bears for roar and mountain giants and dryads all of those units, they had the same upgrades, because they share all of the upgrades, which is something that humans absolutely don't have, but also the orcs, and also the undeads. The only race that shares all of the upgrades, the most relevant upgrades, together, is Night Elf. But that is not the main reason why he's losing this game. The main reason why Hawk is losing this game is because he lost Town Portal twice in the mid game, despite having a very good early game. In the mid game, early mid game, he lost Town Portal twice, and then he lost a lot of resources because of that and because he went to upkeep without having a bank. So he went into upkeep without having a bank. So actually I think his army was never more than 60 in this game. He never went to the point of fighting with a 70. Certainly not an 80 foot army, but not even a 70 foot army. TH was constantly trading, constantly finding the kills. And even though they were trading some what Similarly, in the mid game, you cannot trade equally with the Night Elves. Human is not a race that can trade equally with Night Elves and then expect to win the game. When you expand, you need to go for a big push and absolutely crush the Night Elves or do at least tremendous damage before they start to profit from the expo. If you trade equally or somewhat equally, In the first fights, then in the late game, you will lose. As the Mountain King is falling, and Hawk is uh, leaving the game that was already over like since a few minutes. GG.